What's up, dudes? There we go. I finally got screen switched over here. Oops. It's coming through here, though. Cool. Everybody hear me all right? I think we're going. What's going on, guys? A little bit of a seriously late Sunday night. So, yeah. As you all can see, obviously, from the uh, title screen, the beautiful X-Fly Sirius is now available at BitGo Hobby. So check that out. For those of you that can't wait, you can get them now. Um, we split shipping costs with you, and you can get them from China in about 7 to 10 days. I've been hearing some folks get them in about 4, which is absolutely crazy to think. All right. Do a little bit of a roll call real quick here. Get me back up to the top. So we've got RC Air Marshal, Brian Chambers, Scott Settle, the Fred Baron RC, Rich M, Mary Boozer. Let's see, who else we have? Sorry, I'm trying to scroll through here. Pilot Ryan Media, holy smokes. Can't believe that guy's in here. Jeez Louise. Uh, Wild Bill. Barry Campbell, how's it going? Boss223, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Dennis Farley. Scott Settle, I don't know if I said you or not yet, but I think I did. Don Shack, how you doing? Airbex RC, what's up everybody? Hopefully I got all of you. Sorry if I missed some people. Got about 21 folks in here. Holy smokes. A little bit of a late Sunday. Been been crazy around here today. But uh Dale, how you doing, buddy? So yeah. I don't how many of you guys have uh, got the X Fly? I know Scott has. I think he got rained out today though on on flying his. I've got about, I'd say 15 or 16 flights on it. I've been taking it out to the field with me about every day. It is a great jet. Jermaine Spencer, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Cheeseburgers. You guys like the uh, stickers here? I'll have to grab one of those later and show you. Our buddy Scott made some pretty awesome cheeseburger stickers. Yeah, I reckon the X-Fly is pretty awesome, dude. Uh, we'll talk about it for a few minutes. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about it. Uh, saw the live stream and unboxing and, and build that we did, uh, I believe it was last Monday when we got them in. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, stay tuned to Pilot Ryan Media also because there's also a flight coming on his channel this week of me flying this bad boy yesterday that we got. So lots of good stuff coming. So, yeah, but for those of you that haven't seen this, this is the X-Fly Sirius. Um, very awesome model. Awesome performance and power. Plastic bits all the way around on the leading edges. Nose cone, obviously, is detachable and has a plastic tip. Tons of battery room up in here. I was running an AR620, and uh, it was windy yesterday, so I decided to throw a 637T in it, and they give you a nice little tray in here. Uh, to put your receiver on and it was awesome with AS3X um, it's great without anything I was flying it without anything before but yesterday it was pretty windy it was straight down the runway so it wasn't too bad but uh, man awesome awesome jet so you guys will see that video coming of me flying this on Ryan's channel here soon it's very smooth cheater on the bottom and it has some cheaters up here on the sides as well I'm sure you'll be seeing a afterburner in it before too long too it's like the only thing that's missing i think is an afterburner but it was awesome to fly last weekend too on the fourth of july i mean what better better color scheme yeah yeah you could put some clear coat on it for sure reckon yep yeah it's an awesome plane air marshal it, it is fun man david steiner thanks for checking in man yeah, check out the replay in the morning for sure, buddy. Sorry to keep you up so late. <laughs> yeah, no football whistle. <laughs> yeah, Mary Boozer. It, like, it really is a very, very true and, and locked-in uh, flying airplane. It, it's absolutely awesome. Um, 
The ailerons, 100% all day long. Uh, the ailerons are a little bit small, but it gets the job done, no problem, at 100%. Um, the elevator, I've been running about 80% with 15% Expo and been liking it quite a bit. But she's a floater, man. It, it flies great. I love the landings, too. It, it, land, it comes in really nice, has a really good attitude. BD Tennessee, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Nate, what's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, Nate got to fly the Sirius too. It's great, man. It is. It's a fun flying plane. Yeah, so I hope a lot of you will uh, get these eventually. If you can't swing it now, I get it. Shipping can be a little bit expensive. Um, we're cost cutting the cost with, on shipping with these, though, if you want them early until the container gets here. So it's about $60, I think, for shipping, which isn't too bad. You get it in about 7 to 10 days, so... Eddie K's RC, how you doing, buddy? I think Scott Settle actually said he got his in about four. But hopefully here in a few weeks we'll have some new stuff to build, too. Uh, BD Tennessee, that's a great question, man. Uh, he said, Bobby, I've been looking at this jet. Will it qualify for free shipping at some point? Yes, it certainly will. So um, basically the only reason um, why we're doing this... Uh, instead of like a pre-order, I guess you'd say, is a lot of uh, containers are kind of far out. So it could be two to three months before you see some of these products. And that's not just from us, it's from a lot of other companies. Containers are kind of a pain in the butt right now to deal with uh, getting them over here. So right now as an alternative, um, we didn't want to have to uh, let people wait to get these in their hands. If they didn't want to wait, um, we can get them shipped from China from our other warehouse over there and uh, get them to you in about seven to 10 days. It just costs, it costs quite a bit to ship things. So we're cutting it in half with the customer. And, and so it only costs about $60 to the customer to ship these. So it's pretty awesome. Ah, Air Marshall said, if you use his link, you, <laughs> you can get ears in three days. Don't put that on us, I'm just saying. If, if it takes longer, if you guys get the slow plane for some reason, it takes the seven to 10 days. It's not My our fault. My only take two. Oh, okay, now, now we got it going on. So <laughs> Pilot Ryan Media said his lengths only take two days now. So we've got a uh, shipping slash link war going on now. But yeah, in all seriousness, uh, little guys, don't forget to use your favorite links for whoever it is. It helps out all their channels tremendously and, uh, yeah, helps keep them going. So if you, if you do buy it, go through someone's link. Larry, how you doing, buddy? That's a good question. He said, do you know if they will make a 90 millimeter EDF fan setup? Um, I'm not 100% positive, but I would not doubt it. So, uh, yeah, just keep your ears open. I, I'm sure when it comes, you'll, he you'll hear it from us. So I would not doubt them doing a 90. They, they've got 64 in like a 3 and 4S version. They have like a 50 millimeter fan unit um, that I believe is a 4S version also. Uh, 70 millimeter and then obviously the 80, which I think they call the G8. Um, but excellent, excellent power systems. The power systems in these are awesome, absolutely awesome. Yeah, they, they really put their homework in on this plane. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Mary Boozer said his leg's good for wood planes when they get here on the boat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scott Settle said, I use Ryan's to go to Horizon Shopping today. Maybe that stuff will come in two days. Who knows? Let's hope so, man. Take up all complaints with PilotRyanMedia.com. Hey! <laughs> Madhouse, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you in here. Sorry if I skip over some of you guys. I'm, uh, I gotta get a mouse from my computer pretty bad. It's hard using this touch thing.
Barry Campbell. Yeah, it is, it is a little bit better than a pre-order. It gives the customer a chance to get them in their hands a little bit quicker. And, and like I said, we won't be able to do it with all models. Um, it just depends on, on the size and everything, of course, because of shipping rates. But um, some of them we can, we can get away with it on. So it's pretty awesome. And a lot of you guys have actually been taking advantage of it pretty well. So, so that's great. Ghost RC, how you doing, buddy? Boss223, how you doing, buddy? He said, I have got stuff from Mitco in three days. Yeah, we try to keep up with it. We try to do pretty fast shipping. Uh, the past week's been kind of hairy shipping times just because we actually uh, got another warehouse. So we've been moving things and getting things reorganized and everything else. So it's been hectic this past week. But uh, we'll be back in full swing this week, which is great. Mike SSI, how you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, Dale. Yeah, it's it's a little bit. It's everybody. It's not just Horizon. Horizon does a, a pretty darn good job, actually, man. Especially delivering products, it's they do a real darn good job at that. It's uh, it's not easy easy to do to keep up, and, and they do a darn good job of it. <laughs> Air Marshall said, "Love you guys." Seriously, even Ryan. <laughs> uh, you guys are great. <laughs> so, any of you guys get out and fly this weekend? Hopefully, you did. Uh, we got to fly yesterday for a little bit. Uh, our buddy Adam, thank goodness, I didn't have my trailer with me, so we, I didn't have my canopy, and he had one with him. So we had to wait out a few few showers, but it was well worth it. So complete complete rain out today, though. It was raining all day and kind of windy out of the north. So missed out on today, but hopefully a lot of you guys saw some good weather and got to get out and fly. Yeah, Dennis, uh, the new warehouse is actually right next door to this one. Yep. <laughs> Need a Canadian warehouse. <laughs> we don't ship enough to Canada. Rage, I'm not too sure when we'll get parts back in for the T28. Um, if you could actually message me at, at bobby.committa at bitgohobby.com. Um, let me know what parts you need. Maybe I can I can help you out with something. Yeah, boss. He said, "Great looking bird." Reminds him of a cross between a future Futura and an Avani. Sorry, the chat started to get up in the clouds there on me. Um, yeah, you know what? In in the one video, for some reason, it kind of felt like an Avani slash Bayhawk to me. That's why I compared it to. But that's yeah, it's pretty close to both of those as well. Hamilton Sanger, how you doing, man? Good to see you in here. Holy smoke. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to catch up with the chat a little bit here. Oh, I haven't flown in a while. Man, get out and fly. Come fly with us. We're not too far away. Speaking of flying with us, I hope all of you have your calendars set for Nephi at the end of August. I believe it's the 27th to the 29th down at the AMA grounds in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, Pilot Ryan and I will be there. Uh, sea Mafia, RC Air Marshal, Scott Settle, everybody that you guys like to see on YouTube and whatnot, we'll all be there flying, having a good time. So come out and see us. Definitely set your calendars for it. It's gonna be an awesome event. You can fly anything also. Um, it's National Electric Fly-In is what NEPI stands for. So anything electric, whether it be jets, prop jobs, whatever, you can fly it there, helicopters, Pretty good time. Mm. 
Yeah, Hamilton. Yeah, the stand does complement the jet. The 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 red stand with the red jet. The blue one actually looks pretty good on it too. Dana's RC, what's going on, man? You haven't flown in a while either, Dana. Come on, man. Get out there. What are you doing? Yeah, Air Marshal, big balls of PT-17s will hopefully be here very soon. I hope. Crossing fingers. I'm telling you what. Ah, Boss223, yeah, that's right. Um, don't forget to, the, to check out the Jackson fly-in. Um, where is that? West Virginia, that's right. I believe that's right, right, boss? West Virginia is the Jackson fly-in, the 17th. So if any of you guys are down that way, definitely check that out. Uh, no, I don't think there's a blue version of the Sirius Wreckham. Uh, I was talking about the blue stand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ONARC club. All right, cool. Oh yeah, Lee Davidson said he was out flying. They had the 1600 millimeter pits. That's a good, good flying plane too. I have not flown it yet, but I see uh, I drool whenever Ryan flies his. Flying Fortress, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Jackson's RC, how you doing, buddy? Dana, where do you live that you can't fly, man? Come on. You can get out. It's got to be nice some at some point. Oh, 1600 millimeter is a big old pits. You're right, RC Air Marshal. I was thinking the FMS one for some reason. What's that only? That's what, 14? 15. 15? 15. Dane is too busy driving around with a mask on and car by himself to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McNeil said, Dana's RC. Come on down, he'll light the barbecue, dude. Gotta love some barbecue. Boss223 said storming there now. Yeah, it's been raining here all darn day. Not storming, just like a light rain. Robert Garcia, how you doing, bud? Said, hey, Bobby, any word on when you will have the HSD F-16 Thunderbird in stock? Ugh. I, I believe... As soon as they do. I, yeah, I was going to say... I believe it's coming soon, but as as soon as the the distributor has them, we will have them. So uh, we're just waiting to get the word. I'm hoping very soon, though. Ah, Lee David said it's an older HK 1600 millimeter Pit Special 12. Ah, oh, Gregory H. Thanks, man. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> Dana said, you'd come down just for the barbecue. Man, you gotta at least fly if you're gonna go somewhere and have some barbecue. What's better than flying and barbecue, man? Is that Pitt's balsa Lee, or is it, is it foam? I've been dabbling with some other balsa stuff lately. I absolutely love balsa. We got a couple of the old Hangar 9 models and uh, our buddy Seamoth, he, we got the, uh, what is that thing, the Jackal Speed Demon. So we're going to be flying that and then uh, a few other little little things that should be a little surprise. So. <laughs> Air Marshal. <laughs> Talk about barbecue, man. RC Air Marshal has some Excellent barbecue skills, man. 
Nothing like that southern barbecue. Boss223 says, anyone have a canopy for a 1.2 Mustang E-Flight laying around? My June night canopy blew off, floated down river, Horizon is out of stock. Man, boss, I know how that goes. I lost my uh, canopy down at Imperial RC at our fly-in when I went inverted. <laughs> and it went into a pond that nobody was about to swim out and get it, so... <laughs> Ah, gotcha, Reckham. Reckham said, Lee's Pits is just like the Dynam Pits Python. That makes sense. I, I have never seen that one, actually. Gators, that's right, boss. Darn gators. I heard you guys talking on Ryan's show last night uh, about some, some airplanes and stuff. I want to see someone bring out a, a big B-17 or a big Connie again, man. That would be, that'd be pretty cool. I want to see some big stuff, though, like some, some more 80-inch plus wingspan stuff. Oh, cool. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> Breckham said, you should build one. Yeah, I should. Man, I should build one, but I have so many things to build right now, it's ridiculous. And so many planes and boxes. And most of you that know me know that I, I love everything RC airplanes. So, like, balsa, all of that stuff, no, no matter who it's from. So, I, I have a lot of stuff that, you know, someone else comes out with something. I'm like, man, that's cool. I need that. And then they, uh... They sit in the box for a little bit sometimes. It's it's busy around here. Yeah, EQ, that's what I'm talking about. 3,000 millimeter B-17. That'd be cool. Have to figure out a good way to break it up apart and it separate in pieces, though, for transport for some guys. Trailer wouldn't be a problem, but... Yeah, Air Marshal, that is what we need. A big old dancing wing B-25 Mitchell. I, oh, man, I wish. I hope we see some stuff like that coming from them. I want to see some more World War II era things uh, from them. They have quite a few World War, War I biplanes and stuff like that, and, but I want to see some more World War II stuff coming from them. I think they do a phenomenal job at it. Yeah, John Graham, big Lancaster or big uh, B-29. I would be down for that also. I'm surprised no one's done a B-29 yet, actually. you think it'd be kind of easy to do, uh, kind of like an airliner. It's just a super long, round fuse and some, some pretty long wings coming off of it. you think it'd be kind of easy to do a big one, too, but eh, who knows? I'm honestly shocked there's not a big B-25 or a, like a 1.5 B-25 or something out on the market. I, We need one. I think a lot of us want one. Please, somebody. Yeah, Paul McNeil, I agree. A big B-25 would be where it's at. Definitely. I know LX offers one, but it's... uh. Yeah, oh, Air Marshal took the words out of my mouth. He said, anyone makes a B-25 that's not <laughs> named LX, and I'd I'd be all over it. Yep. And I, uh, Ken, Kenny, Hangar 51, he's got the LX B-25. It, it looks nice. It just, a lot of glue parts and stuff like that, and some of the wiring's interesting. Uh, we, we need a new, new and updated one from someone, someone good. Yeah. You know what other Spitfire is beautiful? Is is the big Phoenix quarter scale Spitfire that you guys may have seen a few weeks ago on the show. That'll be uh, coming together here soon. 
And trust me, you guys will see videos of that bad girl. Yeah, Dana, it's crazy. Yeah, the B-29 is awesome, but nobody does have it on the market. Not yet, anyways. Hopefully we'll see one. One of these days. That's what's great about this, is things are start, starting to come pretty far in the RC, our, our RC life, you know, uh, as far as technology and, and those things go. So uh, maybe one day we will see a lot of planes that we haven't in, in the past because things are easier to make now or they have different design features that allow them to. Yeah, Scott, I'm excited to fly that big Spitfire, too. Yep, you gotta love technology. That's right, Hamilton Singer. You gotta love it. Yeah, the B-29 would have to be a big plane. Big. Like, AL-37 big. Bigger, actually. I'd, I'd like bigger. Yeah, the CNC are better to make moles, definitely, boss. It's crazy. I like it. There's a lot of new products coming out from with from tons of different companies, which I'm I'm liking. A lot more than in the past. You know, you get a release like here and there. Now it seems like every month or every two months, there's multiple companies putting out different releases, which is awesome. I guess it's awesome and not awesome because. There's like so many things that you want, and you're like, oh man, I wanted this one, and now they have this one out, so what one do I get? And then you're like, oh, this one just moves down. My list changes all the time. I always have ones like at the top of the list I know I'm going to get, and then something new comes out, and it's like, ah, maybe I'll bump that one down, and then it's, it's crazy. Wish you could have them all. Pterodactyl, how you doing, buddy? No, I've never seen Matt Hodges' B-29 fly. Um, a guy named Ron that's in a, a local club here had a huge, I don't know who made it. I don't know if it was like a Balsa USA or, or what what plans it was. Made a huge B-29. It was the biggest I've seen. And, and uh, I got to see that fly. It was, it was pretty amazing. Yeah, big B-52. Now we're talking. No, <laughs> that's right, Air Marshal. You know what I, I really want to see, too, are, like, some big stealth jets. Like, give us, like, a 90 size, like, F-117 or something, or a B-2, or even a U-2. A U-2 would be pretty cool. I mean, heck, that's kind of like a glider. I want to see some of those old school skunk work projects. <laughs> That's right, Fred. <laughs> yeah, Brian Chambers, Balsa USA has some awesome stuff. Yeah, if you guys are into building and like to build, Balsa USA is definitely where it's at for that kind of stuff. I used to love to build, but not anymore. I'm too spoiled. A lot of the stuff you can take out of the box and just go at it. I, I don't go too much past ARFs now anymore. Used to love it, but spending two, three months building an airplane and then it's... Uh, now you can just take one out of the box like this and actually have a receiver in it and everything in 15, 20 minutes built and be flying it. It's pretty great. That's right, Scott Settle. Big RC planes will change your RC life. That's right. Yeah, you could, Air Marshal. You could make a relatively transportable U-2. <laughs> Hunter Yoko. <laughs> We haven't found any cheeseburgers around here in a while, thank goodness. Nephi's coming, though. Who knows what could happen.
Yeah, me too, Paul McNeil. Yeah. They, I, and, you know, if if they actually did do anybody, actually, right now in the market, I mean, if they did a big B-29, it probably would cost anywhere from 800 to to $1,000. I mean, I'm talking big, you know. It probably would cost quite a bit of money for something like that. I mean, the bigger the plane, the bigger the mold, the more expensive. <laughs> Air Marshal said, I think he thinks he's found the last live cheeseburger. Awesome, boss. He said he's got his vacation scheduled for Nucky. Hopefully a lot of you a lot of you guys do. Victor, how you doing, man? B1B, F-117, SR-71. Yeah, all day. I'd love to see any of, any of them. Any of them, please. A, a B-1 with a sweep wing would be pretty awesome. And I think you could get away with making that, like, 280s, probably. I mean, you wouldn't have to put, like, 470s in there or anything. You could probably get away with making, like, a joint ducting out of it. How you doing, Dean? How's it going, man? Yeah, all's great around here. New X Fly Series. Talking about uh, planes we all wish we we had right now, or we're on the market. <laughs> we're dreaming right now. <laughs> if you're just tuning in. <laughs> oh, Nate, I was very disappointed. So, at Jet Jam, Air Marshal somehow ended up with a cheeseburger up the tailpipe of. I think it was in a Bonnie, and I would have loved to see that blow out myself also. I wish I would have been there for that one. Anybody get that on video? If you did, please send it to me, because that was probably pretty epic. <clears throat> ah, boss. Yeah, we, we camp out there every year, so I don't know if we'll get a hotel this year or not. Probably not. We, Neffy's great because, I mean, we don't only fly all day. We fly, like, all night. You're, you're darn near falling asleep on the flight line sometimes. If you bring night planes or have something with some lights on it that you can fly, it's an absolute blast, especially when the sun goes down. Bring some bug spray and fly all night. <laughs> the bread, bread baron. <laughs> The old after, after burger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so did it blow it out in one piece, Air Marshal, or did you get like, you know, <laughs> burger, pickle, cheese, and it come out in pieces? <laughs> Fiery grilled booty, that's right. Ah, Dean, awesome, man. He said, I definitely want to get one of those. I just got the new F-16 80mm from E-Flight, so needless to say, I'm broke. <laughs> it really is amazing. Yes, man, that, I'm telling you, that E-Flight F-16 is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Ah, and, and like, you guys will see how much I love it here in about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Pilot Ryan's going to be dropping a video. Uh -huh. Five minutes. He said five minutes now. So Pilot Ryan's will be dropping a video in five minutes of the Maiden that I did on mine yesterday. I actually had uh, 11 flights on mine yesterday on my, my E-Flight F-16. I was grooving with it. I loved Ryan's when I got to fly it. So um, I got the opportunity to get one, and I'm loving it. Many more videos to come. Our buddy Adam has one. Our buddy Mark has one. Um, Scott Settle got one. So I'm sure at Nephi, when all of us are together, you guys are going to see some awesome F-18 or F-16 uh, like gaggles, formation flights, all of it. And then uh, me and Ryan will get some formation flights in here too, uh, pretty soon with them also. So can't wait. That thing is amazing though. 
Yes, it is, Nate. It is a uh, bad to the bone. Yeah, I got all amped up talking about that F-16. I love that thing. Absolutely love it. Again, yeah, and we flew, uh, so I flew mine yesterday. I was, like, doing different, like, uh, uh, setups on it as far as the ordnance goes. And it, it's a little draggy with all the ordnance on it. I flew with all of it but the belly tank, and then I, I took some off and left just, like, the outer wing tanks on and, and the, and the uh, AIM-120s on the wing tips, and then... I was just messing around, but it flew really good with, with all the ordnance. My favorite was just leaving the belly tank on and, and the wingtip rockets, but it's a, man, I love that thing. It's awesome. Michael Roska, how you doing, buddy? Michael Nolan, did anyone post a video of your racers at the Pilot Ryan flying? You know what? I don't think anyone has yet. Ryan has some pretty darn good footage of that also. Um, I'm sure you'll see it one of these days. There's a lot on the plate right now, but um, yeah, we'll have to get that. I'll, I'll see I'll see about that, man. Ryan said he's got it. So I'm sure you'll see it pretty soon here. Bobby K with a new warehouse will Bitco get drag racing cars. Hopefully in the future. That's all I can say right now. Hopefully coming soon one of these days. JT83, how you doing, bud? Yeah, Scott, the ordinance does look very scaled. It looks great, and it's all done up, all stickered up. You don't have to add anything to it uh, for scale fidelity. It's already there for you. And you don't have to pay an extra amount. It comes in the box with the plane. Some of the planes that you get, the ordinance is separate. You have to buy it and blah, blah, blah. Not with that one. It's all there, and there's tons of it. And it comes with, like, I have the decal sheet for mine because I'm doing some custom graphics, but it comes with, like, four different... Um, sets of decals for you to choose from for tail art and whatnot so awesome <laughs> you haven't flown yours yet with ordnance dean i definitely do it man it's nothing to be scared of just make sure you come in a little bit faster it's a little bit draggier but not too bad <laughs> Did you just drop that vid? Uh, Did you just drop it? Yep. Bow. <laughs> if, if you guys want, I will not feel bad if you guys leave to go watch Ryan's vid. We actually probably won't be on here too much longer. It's 11 o'clock already. Uh, take, a, take a six minute break. You How know what? We could do that. Put the link in the son of a gun. Take a six minute I got minute you break. guys. That's a good idea. It's only like six minutes. Go watch it and comment on that son of a gun. And <laughs> Watching subscribe. the video. If you're not subscribed, man, come on. <laughs> Dean, the series is available right now. Um, it's just, you'll get it about seven to ten days. It comes straight from our warehouse in China over to here. Um, it only takes about seven to ten days to get it. Some guys have got it in as, as um, um, little as four days. Um, there's a... Uh, Additional shipping cost is $60, which it's usually a lot more expensive, but we split it up the middle with the customer so they can get them a little bit sooner. But um, we will have them with free shipping in, I don't know, I'd say about two months or so. But if you don't want to wait, this is the option to go ahead and get it now if you'd like. All right, here, I'll, I'll drop a link to that video. Let me find it real quick on here. Let's see. How do I? Oops, don't want to do that. My computer's not cooperating at the moment. Oh, come on.
See you, car. See you. Thanks for stopping in, man. All right, guys. So I just dropped a link in to the video Pilot Ryan just dropped. We'll go ahead. We'll do how long is it? Like six or seven minutes? Six minutes. We'll do a six-minute break so you guys can all go watch that thing, and then I'll meet you back here. I'm going to watch it, too, because I have not seen it yet. So we'll take a little break real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a second.
All right, dudes. So hopefully you guys all got to go and watch that real quick. Oops. All right, dudes. Keep forgetting to mute that. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like it. <laughs> yeah, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Don't forget to say something in the comments. A lot of a lot of times, if you guys see like a random like on there, I know it doesn't show it on YouTube. It's usually me. <laughs> It'll tell you if Ryan likes it, but I try to get in the comments every once in a while on that channel as well. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, guys. It, that that jet is absolutely amazing. First flight was pretty nice. <laughs> Scott Settle said, "Love the NX10 at the end. Links in the disco." <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thanks man thanks john appreciate it yeah it sounds awesome that's a good jet it's a good jet yeah i just want as you guys were watching it i i ran over here and watched it myself so yeah it's pretty cool it comes in so nice too that last little landing i i i uh, scooted the cone at the the end No, Scott, I need to figure out the reverse thrust. I, I need to figure that out bad. I got you. I do need to figure that out because that would be actually really cool. I got you. Ryan said he's got me, so hopefully uh, he can figure it out for me. I have not dabbled in that yet, but I definitely want it. Cause it I mean, not that it needs it by any means, but it's pretty darn cool. Yeah, yeah, it sounds awesome with the motor completely off, just doing the, the flybys. Yeah, it has a good whoosh, definitely. <laughs> it's not that hard, don't listen to Ryan. <laughs> Thanks, Regum. Yeah, that was, a, that was a fun one. And stay tuned later this week, too, because he'll be dropping the video of the, of the Sirius that we flew. Uh, we flew this bad girl yesterday also. Thanks, Fred. Yeah, it's a, it, that's a good little uh, good little video for sure. Definitely. It was it was a pretty good maiden flight. That thing was locked in right off the bat. Didn't really take too much trim at all. Not a lick, <laughs> Not a lick of trim. <laughs> Actually, I think it took a couple clicks. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys all went and watched that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was a good maiden, Dennis. I was comfy right off the bat with that thing. I knew what I was getting into, though. Oh, definitely have to have the Pepsi. Yep. I graduated from Red Bull to the Pepsi just a little minute ago during that uh, video. I finished off the Red Bull and had to grab a Pepsi. Dana, I'm not too sure what you're talking about, but yeah, we do have open box planes. Uh, contact me. I can. We haven't we haven't posted any on the site, but we do have some open box planes. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> he said, Dana, go to Goodwill. <laughs> what do you need planes for? You're not even flying. <laughs> Adam Hampton, yeah, it does fly on rails, man. It's it's awesome. I, there's not enough good things I can say about that F-16, man. Reckham's drinking the Pepsi, too. All right. That's a good shakedown if you want to see it in calm conditions. Yeah, yeah, that is a good... Yeah, like Ryan said, it's a good shakedown if you guys want to see it in, in somewhat calm conditions, for sure. Mine was a mess. Yeah, yours was a mess. Yeah, Ryan... Ryan uh, when we made his, it was pretty bumpy out that day, and I think it was a pretty good cross. It was nasty. Bro. Yeah. Worked it out. Yeah. Yep. 
It's a good one. Yeah, I think there's a there's a video on your channel of me and Gab flying. I, I was flying your F-16 with his F-18. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, check that out, too. Now, <laughs> Michael Raj, guys, said, Bobby, make sure the credit card clears before you ship it to Dana. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys are funny. <laughs> Oh, you guys are something else. I don't know if any... Does anybody Zoom on Sunday nights? I don't think anybody Zooms on Sunday nights. I tend to get on here a little bit later. I'm sure in the winter you guys will see me on here a little bit earlier than what we have been in the recent weeks. But when it's summertime and it stays light till 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock, we're, we're usually out flying. Today we weren't just because it was raining. Today was hectic, just getting everything done and set up and whatnot. But hopefully in the winter time we'll be doing some cool builds too, and flying off floats. Yeah, it's a, it's it's not too bad of a jet, boss. Uh, Definitely have have a few jet flights underneath your belt. I wouldn't start right off with a F-16, but it, it's it's definitely maybe your a, a good I'd say third jet. Go with the 70. Yeah, we'll go with the 70. That that jet actually is awesome. That little E-Flight 70 Thunderbirds, that thing is cool. Best first F-16. Yeah, it is. That is the best first F-16, no doubt. And it's yet. Yet, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if you <laughs> he got me laughing, sorry. <laughs> um, and another good thing, it well not I don't know. It depends on if it's good for you or not. But if you take the the tips off of that F sixteen, the little seventy, and the ventrals, that thing is slippery. It get, it's pretty cool. I definitely be prepared because it's a little different feeling. But it, it's fun once you get used to it. Especially with that battery all the way back. Yeah, Lee. He said, Bobby, did you ever get the stork figured out and built? Yeah, it's actually, it'll be ready for Maiden pretty soon here. I just haven't been in a big rush because I've been waiting for us to get, obviously, containers into this stuff. So, uh, yeah, you guys, once, once we have all the product and stuff like that, um, you guys will be seeing all of that video footage. So there's a lot of cool stuff to come. Just just waiting. I think everybody's waiting right now, mostly, unfortunately. So, but there's stuff coming. I promise. the 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 next container we're getting is a whole bunch of new and cool stuff. So I cannot wait for you guys to see it, get it in your hands, fly it, drive it, everything. Oh, boss two two three says he's been flying an Avani. Which Avani, boss? The uh, FMS 70 or, or like uh, the 90? That uh, the little 70. That's a fast little jet. I love that that Avani. That's a good one. Ah, boss, just been flying jets the last couple of months. Well, awesome, dude. I know everybody is waiting, Adam. <laughs> it, it, it's it it stinks right now. Oh, FMS, awesome. Yep, I, I have that that uh, FMS Vani. It's 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 a good one. It's a good one. I'm actually uh, I'm gonna drop the X Fly seventy millimeter power system in that one once I get it. Yeah, Michael Bear, container sh container shortages has changed his RC life. I think it's changed a lot of our RC lives, but we just gotta gotta play the waiting game, unfortunately. But good stuff to come. Good stuff to come. I think all companies, including us, are trying as hard as we can to get these things and get product to you guys. Trust me, we, we want you guys to have these things and play with them and have fun with them. Especially flying is a good therapy, I think. When I'm out the flying field, everything else kind of, you know, goes away for a little bit. Just having a good time with your buddies flying and it's awesome.
Oh, boss, and Futura. Heck yeah, man. Yep, definitely. Flying is the best therapy, Rackham. I'm not cutting out or anything, am I, guys? I'm... Give me an emoji or thumbs up or something in the chat if you guys can hear me and see me. All right. It keeps... <clears throat> YouTube keeps flashing up a thing that my connection is weak. I just want to make sure no one's losing me. <laughs> I don't know what YouTube's doing right now. Okay, I'm good. Cool. I want to make sure I'm not skipping out. Okay, cool. I'm here. Awesome. Good deal. Just want to make sure. Race 22 crew, how you doing, buddy? Good deal. Scott Settle Productions. What you need a link to, buddy? Buddy, link, huh? There's tons of links in the description down below, but you can also go to your affiliate links and whoever's your favorite, and uh, click through them as well for anything. <laughs> Michael Bear said he's having a rolling loop challenge at his field tomorrow. What could go wrong? <laughs> Lots of things. <laughs> Videotape any carnage, please. Awesome. Paul McNeil said the feed is perfect. Good deal. Awesome. I just want to make sure I wasn't skipping in and out or anything. I should have, like, just froze for a second to see what you guys thought, but... Boss223, take it easy, man. Work around sunrise, yep. Awesome. We'll probably cut it short here, actually. It's already 11.30. We'll probably cut it here in another, eh, eight minutes or so. Oh, awesome. Paul McNeil said he's cutting out his first Lexan RCA car body. Hopefully that goes well for you, man. That's something I have not had the opportunity of doing yet. I do like custom cars though and whatnot. I actually did a Gen 8. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is the Gen 8 crawler I decided to do. Um, it's dusty a little bit, but uh, yeah, jacked it up a little bit, put some bigger tires on it, aluminum front end. I have to add the uh, light kit for it still. But yeah, it has a nice, beautiful custom paint job on her that my buddy did. Paints a lot of cars, so. Yeah, it's pretty neat though. I do like, I do like tricking out cars. I like real cars myself also. Like to dabble with them. So, a little bit of a gearhead as well. Paul, oh, holy smokes! He said I have to be up at 4 a.m. Man, I don't know where you're at or what time it is, but I, I hope you get. Good night's sleep, man. <laughs> Thanks for staying up with us. <laughs> now, Lisa, Lee Davidson said, 11.30 and I'm getting ready to go fly. Love the night radiant. Heck yeah, man. Good deal. I like to fly at night as well. It's, it's awesome. Don't forget your bug spray, dude. Heck yeah. Tons of flying. Minnesota, holy smokes. So what time, it's probably what, 10.30 there for you, I think? Better be getting to bed, dude. <laughs> I can get grumpy without the beauty sleep. Mike SSI, rolling loops are the ticket. Yes, they are. 
Mikey BRC, how you doing, man? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> Sir Bobby of House Bitgo. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully here soon. Speaking of, of BitGo, you got the sign behind me here. Uh, I'd, I'd imagine before too long you guys will see the sign getting a little bit changed up here. So that should be pretty cool. Get some different art. Hunter Yoakum says, I need to get the night timber so I can fly at night. Sounds like fun. That night timber is awesome. I flew Ryan's. It was a, it was a great time. <laughs> That's right, Paul. <laughs> Rolling loops will change your RC life. You might not come home with as many as you took that day. <laughs> Living the dream, he said. 1.30 in the afternoon and stuck in the office. Oh, man. Well, hopefully at least you're looking out the office window, it's raining or something and not bright and sunny because then you'll be dreaming about flying all day. Adam Hampton, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you'll be able to get out and fly this week or this weekend. Uh, where's is the fun fly down at down at AMA also? Race crew? Uh, so far I'm I'm we're just doing Nephi so far, and then there's some events after that that are further south that we'll be doing. Uh, but yeah, so far we just have Nephi planned at the end of August. And then there's, there's a couple local shows around here that we'll do, but. Yeah, that's right, Lee. The winds usually are always the best at night. It's usually pretty calm around here too at nighttime. July 31st to August 1st. Uh, what's that? Is it just electrics or can you take anything to that? First I've heard of the fun fly. It must be a local club or something. <laughs> That's right, Paul. He said, I love night flying. I could be inverted or maybe I'm not. One fly is everything. Okay. Yeah, I think we have our, our good old famous field here. We have a, at our local club, I think our flying is like August 7th or something like that. Our fields, I, I'd love to invite a bunch of people to, to that event, but it's just so darn, our, our field's small. Well, I shouldn't say our field's small, the parking area is kind of small, so it, could get cramped kind of quick. Awesome. All right, dude, so it's coming up. It's getting late. It's 11.38. Probably going to get off here pretty soon. Anybody have any last-minute questions before we get out of here tonight? Hopefully soon we'll be building some more stuff on the show and whatnot. Uh, or if there's anything you guys want to see, make sure you email me or message me or leave it in the comments section on something you guys want to see or see built. Be more than happy to do it. Heck yeah, Fred Baron. That that uh, 1500mm P51 is awesome awesome one of my favorite warbirds definitely i just gotta get a canopy for mine mine will mine will be back in action that fox wolf isn't a bad deal either i got to fly that uh, not too long ago that that thing's pretty sweet my 
Michael Bear, my pleasure, man. I love doing the show. It's, it's fun to hang out with all you guys for a few hours and talk about airplanes. <laughs> Everybody's saying, Fred's going to love it. Yeah, he is. He's going to love that. It's awesome. Me and Ryan have a good time flying those together. <clears throat> All right, dudes, one more minute and we're getting out of here. Monday is right around the corner, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the new XFly series is available if you guys want it early. Um, the link is in the discro below, so check that out. And then, uh, yeah, next Sunday we'll be here. And uh, depending on weather, it might be another late show. Not sure. Just depends on if we're out flying next Sunday or filming or whatnot. So if it's nice out, you gotta fly. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure, please, to subscribe. Once we get to 1,000, I'm, I'm able to go live mobily, like out of the field. So I can go from my phone and set up a thing. So uh, once we hit that 1,000, we can go live from the field, uh, do the show out of the field, and do get some live flights in and, and all types of stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. So if you guys haven't uh, subscribed, please do. Don't forget to hit the like button and then the notifications bell for all the latest and greatest coming from us. And, uh, yeah, can't wait. Thanks, Pterodactyl. All right, guys, so I think that's going to do it for tonight. So, once again, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, don't forget to click through your favorite affiliate links. It helps them all out tremendously. Um, and, yeah, helps keep their channels going and bringing you great content. So don't forget to do that. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next weekend, guys. Take it easy. Oh, and happy flying. Safe flying. <laughs> Especially in that uh, rolling loop challenge tomorrow. <laughs> Take some trash bags. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later.